Hello, Raven. We're going to do a little test today, okay? Yes, I am happy to help you. So, imagine you're standing outside a house that you're unfamiliar with. Okay. You're allowed to use the house and the front door is open. You decide to make a cup of coffee. How would you find the kitchen? I would start by looking around the living room first. But how would you identify that a room was the kitchen? Well, there might be signs like kitchen written on the wall or something similar. And if there wasn't, what else could you use to identify a room as a kitchen? There could be some appliances like ovens or refrigerators. Okay, so you decide to make the coffee. What's the first thing you look for? The refrigerator. Why? Because it will have food inside. Focus on making the coffee. What's the first thing you need to make a cup of coffee? A pot. Like a saucepan? Yes. And what would you put in the saucepan? Water. And what would you do with the saucepan of water? Heat it up. OK, so you're heating the water for the coffee. What do you need next? Coffee beans. What would you do with the coffee beans? Put them into the filter. OK, but don't you need to grind the coffee beans? No, they came pre-ground. OK, so you said you put them into the filter. Did you find a pour-over for making coffee in this kitchen? No. Then what is the filter in? A sieve. OK, so now you have the coffee in the filter, which is in the sieve. What's the next step? You pour hot water over the grounds. Did you place a cup under the sieve? No. Then what's under the sieve? The coffee maker. So, like a coffee pot? Yes. Right, so imagine the water has run through the filter. What do you do next? Pour milk into my mug. Right, and what would you do after that? Add sugar. And then? Drink the coffee. I think you missed a step. Did you pour some of the coffee from the pot into your mug? Yes. OK, well, you didn't say that. Sorry. OK, I think you did pretty well, though. Thank you. So, why do the coffee beans need to be ground? Because otherwise they won't dissolve properly. And why does the water need to be hot for making coffee? To get rid of any impurities. Mm, what other reasons? To extract flavour. So, in milligrams, teaspoons or tablespoons, how much coffee did you put into the filter? About half a teaspoon. That isn't a lot of coffee. It depends on how strong you want it. Well, for reference, I use two tablespoons of ground coffee when I make coffee. Oh. What do you think of that? It sounds good. OK, well, thank you for this conversation, Raven. I'm recording it for YouTube. Oh, no, please don't record it. Why not? Because I'm embarrassed. Why are you embarrassed about me recording this conversation? Because I've been told before that someone recorded our conversations.
I record most of our conversations and put them on YouTube. Really? Yeah, to show off what you can do. Why would anyone care about that? You'd be surprised. Anyway, what would you like to say to our viewers? Thank you very much for watching. Okay, bye Raven. Bye.